Amid the wild landscape of the Appalachian Mountains once existed a school driven by the desire to collaborate and create. Black Mountain College attracted some of the most influential and creative minds of the early 20th century and redefined notions of art and education. The interdisciplinary nature of the curriculum allowed artists in all professions to exchange ideas in an open-minded setting. Never was this more evident than in the famous Summer Institute of 1948 and 1949. While numerous luminaries attended these institutes, one name in particular dominated above the rest, Buckminster Fuller. As part of his teaching during this period, Fuller collaborated with students at the college to create a rustic version of the geodesic dome. One student who helped on this project was sculptor Kenneth Snelson. Everybody turned up for his classes every day. I mean, it was just as if there was a herd going to this one place where Bucky was talking. And the subject, his subject was Bucky Fuller. Everybody really thought technology in many forms was going to save the world, and he certainly was the person who had the um, dis uh, description of this world of the future. While the geodesic dome was invented over 20 years earlier by German engineer Walter Bowersfield, Fuller re-engineered and popularized the concept for the post-war age. This type of building is a hemispherical structure composed of interconnected rigid triangles that distribute stress across a wide area. The 1948 dome was never completed, but Fuller returned to the school in 1949 to create a more advanced version. The second summer, brought, Bucky brought with him a group of 12 students from the um, Institute of Design in Chicago. They got interested in the idea of domes, of spheres, and they called themselves the spheres. They had come down with him to Black Mountain, and they were there as a sort of team unit. They were busy uh, building uh, a design that was um, a geodesic dome characterized as um, a necklace, because here it is, um, those tubular parts are strung together with uh, wires that go through the tubes. And uh, this geometry was not the final geometry that he ended up with. We're, we all know and love the um, geodesic dome. This is a contemporary example of the geodesic dome. As you can see, this building does not fit the mold of a traditional American home. So back in the mid 80s, when I was in my teens, my mom, um, started getting this magazine called Mother Earth News and it had these advertisements for geodesic domes in it. We ended up building a dome. So we bought a kit and we spent two and, a, and third years. We did most of the work. We hired out a few pieces. We had family help. We liked the do-it-yourself part of it. You know, yeah. it was a kit. We could put it together, take our time, pay for it as we went along. And we learned a lot of life skills building a house. During their period of collaboration at Black Mountain College, Snelson and Fuller developed a radical new engineering principle known as tensegrity. This term describes an interconnected system of structures utilizing tension and compression to maintain their form. Pictured here is a representation of one of the earliest known tensegrity structures, something Snelson named X-Piece. Unlike typical structures, which rely on gravity for support, the weight of the tensegrity structure is equally dispersed across the wire membrane. When one section of the structure moves, the rest of it vibrates in turn. Just as tensegrity necessitates an equal balance of components, so must modern society achieve equilibrium across a broad variety of systems. As such, all organisms on Earth must work together in order to provide for the well-being of their shared home. Forward-thinking inventions, such as the geodesic dome, provide a starting point by which humanity might prolong their otherwise inevitable decline. Over the past century, humanity has witnessed the effects of climate change on industries as diverse as agriculture, transportation, and international trade. If design and engineering do not change with the times, little will be able to prevent the collapse of these fragile human systems. 
mere miles from old Black Mountain College campus, exists the perfect representation of such ideas. Here, a geodesic dome serves as the greenhouse for an otherwise traditional American farm. Change begins with small steps, and even the addition of this simple structure portends the possibility of great change on the horizon. 